Hello everybody! So today we have another perfume review. So today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite all-time perfume brand, Velocity. And specifically the fragrance that we're going to be talking about today. I'm super excited. So today is about Velocity's Ballet Rose. Now, I know, this is a mini. It's really, really small. I do have a bigger size. I got this in a set for myself for Christmas at TJ Maxx for around $35, $40, somewhere in that range. And it came with a big two fluid ounce bottle and then a 0.5 fluid ounce. But unfortunately, I have misplaced that. So I only have my mini right now. So first, starting off with the packaging, we have a gorgeous peachy salmon sticker color. You guys already know how philosophy is super super cute and then the juice color looks just a little bit like a peachy just very light like a hint of color so before we move on with our review i do want to mention that this is part of the amazing grace line this is a flanker to the original most iconic philosophy scent amazing grace so if you guys are familiar with my youtube channel i have worn this in a previous get ready with me and i paired it up with i believe bath and body works rose so this is not my first time wearing this is i think the third or fourth time that i've worn this so let's start getting into it so the first thing that i want to talk about is the notes so we have notes of rose lychee and musk so a little thing about the notes in philosophy's website there is a mention in the description of the fragrance that there's peony but there's no peony listed in. so i have no idea where that Peony is if it's actually in the fragrance notes, but I do want to note that because I feel like peony is a love or hate note. Some people love it, some people don't. So I do want to mention that a little bit. So I have been wearing this fragrance for around seven hours today. Today is my very, very long day. So we're going to be really be putting this to the test today. I, I'm here at school for 15 hours today. I stay a little bit longer today. So we're going to see by the end of the day and I'll put it in the description box how long I actually wore it <laughs> just so you guys can know. So for a little rundown on what I ended up pairing this with, I paired it with the Equate Pink Baby Oil. And I'm pretty excited because I am going to do reviews on these products coming up right now. But then next I went in with the Hemp's Blushing Rose Herbal Body Moisturizer. I will be doing a review on this, so catch this after this. And then that was my base lotion. And then my main fragrance lotion, I went in with Amazing Grace Ballet Rose in the Firming Body Emulsion. Now, if you guys have seen my previous hauls, you guys are familiar with these items. Super, super excited. I love these so much. So catch these reviews after watching this. And then I topped it all off with Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. Now, you guys already know, philosophy is just that brand it is very work and school friendly so if you're looking for a fragrance or an overall brand of fragrances that are very school and work friendly that you can easily blind my i highly recommend checking out philosophy they are just so good at making fragrances that are not very overpowering that are perfect for any occasion so a little bit more on ballet robes this really smells like ballet rose it smells literally just like the name and honestly the color if this color had a smell it would be this like it literally just smells it's so gorgeous it's a little bit more of a mature rose but not mature in the sense that it's old lady now i love rose rose is one of my all-time favorite scents i just love when it comes to florals rose is my favorite along with peony but this one is not old lady rose it is very it's very, very pretty, but it's a little bit more mature. It's not super girly. I feel like if you were looking for a little bit more of a upper level to Bath & Body Works Rose, then this is it. Because I have mentioned before, Bath & Body Works Rose is very pretty. It's a little bit more youthful. It's more like spring day, whereas this one is a little bit mature. It's a little bit deeper there's a lot more complexity in this one compared to that one so if you guys are looking for a little bit of maturity when it comes to bath and body works rose this one is it and also if you're looking for a fragrance combination this is perfect addition to top it all off i have worn it and it's one of my all-time favorite fragrance combinations that's a little comparison to other rose scents now i did find mine in a set at marshall's but they do carry this on the philosophy website so a little bit on pricing so we actually have two forms of this we have an auto toilette and an auto parfum 
I have mine in an auto toilet in a 0.5 ounce and a 2 fluid ounce. So on the philosophy website, a 0.5 ounce retails for $29. A 2 fluid ounce retails for $64. Now moving on to the auto perfume. The auto perfume only comes in a 2 fluid ounce bottle and that retails for $74. Now for a little quick rundown, if you guys are curious on what's the difference between an auto toilet and an auto perfume, an auto perfume has a little bit higher of an oil concentration and will last longer when applied. I personally, I love eau de parfums, but I do not mind having eau de toilettes. I feel like eau de toilettes are always just super common, but when it comes to philosophy, I highly recommend getting the eau de parfums if possible because they just last longer because like I said, philosophy is just much lighter. It's very work. It's very school friendly, so it is more on the lighter side. It's very rare that you will get super, super strong. Like if you love, like you smell your central, philosophy may not be the brand for you. But they are very work and school friendly. But I recommend getting the Eau de Parfum so it can last longer. Now this is one of my all-time favorite philosophy fragrances. Now this is big bottle worthy, y'all. I really feel like they need an even bigger bottle than a 2 fluid ounce. This, I think I'd get this in a 5 fluid ounce. This is amazing and obviously I've used the mini quite a lot. My big bottle has been pretty much used a lot as well. So this is one of the scents that I got everybody on. I got one for my sister and I got one for my mom as well and they absolutely love it. And my sister is not very big on florals. She loves gourmands so she has a complete different taste in fragrances than me. You're probably going to really like this as well if you love gourmands as well. And my mom is just like me. She loves florals and she loves rose and peony. So this is right up her alley. This is one of her all-time fragrant scents and her bottle is even more used than mine. So if that does not show you how much love I have for Amazing Grace Ballet Rose, then I don't know. <laughs> so a little bit back more on the notes. I feel like this is one of the most versatile fragrances for of all of my philosophy collection. I think this is the most complex scent. I really get the rose and peony and lychee and I also get that musky scent but it's not super heavy on the musk. It's very floral but deeper for floral but not old lady. It's not an old lady fragrance. <laughs> it's very very pretty it's very romantic so for my combination i was really trying to bring out that rose scent because i just i love rose but if i were to pair this with like bodycology's peony blush i could really bring out that peony but i can also bring out that lychee there are so many fragrance combinations that you can do you can also pair this along with philosophy amazing grace intense which has a lychee and raspberry note to really bring out that lychee fragrance and they also have a body spritz they do not have it on the website but i did find it at burlington it is the philosophy rose and lychee cooler body spritz to really bring out both the rose and lychee scent that one is a little bit heavier on the lychee so if you guys are curious i highly recommend going to your local burlington and trying to go find it out or you never know philosophy i have mentioned it before philosophy you never know i think everything should be re-released in a vault collection along with that body spritz of rose and lychee cooler to match ballet rose because so many scents go with this like i'm telling you guys this is one of the most versatile fragrances in my collection and there's so many possibilities you can bring out so many different notes it's just a beautiful beautiful fragrance so honestly i love this i'm rambling just at this point but honestly i highly recommend it get the biggest bottle get it in auto parfum <laughs> so yeah so this concludes today's review on philosophies amazing grace ballet rose thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next perfume review bye